repeat my tale of time's beginning. All was dark. There was no sand. There was no sea. No earth. Nor sky. No grass. Nor wind. Till fire met ice in the gasping void. And from this green came the giant Ymir, first of all beings. Proud Ymir, cruelly killed, yet from whose bones and blood and brains the world was made. The world you walk and war upon. There you are. friend. My sword is grown greedy. I'm ready to fight. So nice having all of these hearty folk in our home. I hew the heads of Charles Hill Dogs. I am five golden... Oh, no drink in your fist? Come on. I'll find you something. I, I have accepted for your father. Oh, what a piece. That must be worth two sturdy long chips. Give it here. I'll pass it on. My father asked me, Sigurd. Suit yourself. But you're not getting any meat. Valka Seder works through my hammer. <laughs>
You have a gift to deliver. Abel, wait. Skull! Custodial! The true king of Grugafolga! Tonight, we all made a new skull! Ah. Ah, Abel, Abel. King. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship and love. May our clans be forever bonded in friendship Thank and you, love. Thank you, Eivor. Now and forever, I am pledged to you. <laughs> Hearken well in Hall of Kings. Ah. On ocean steed, my words gain wings. All then meet our forth will bring. For noble deeds that honor sing. The brave men slain, Valkyria wakes. Rewards for strain to our little takes. And horns resound the mighty horn. Not just yet. It is foretold. The curtains are raised. Nothing is true until it is severed from the branches of Yggdrasil.
same DNA. Not sure why. Fix this or pull me out. I can parse the streams of the filter. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Are we? I don't know what happened, but I can work around it. You'll have to pick a stream to keep things stable. There's a third option, too. I can let the Animus modulate your identity based on signal strength. It's up to you. it in and push ahead to a time where these streams are more synchronized. How long have you been chasing me, Wolfkist? Seventeen winters? Eighteen? Do I now haunt your dreams? Do I warm your loins? <laughs> you remember this? Ah, oh, your father's axe. The weapon of a coward. A scorn snake. Ah, few things would please me more than to kill with this blade. But I know you would defy me to the death, fighting for a glorious end. That I will not allow. You will live your final days, enthralled as a slave, humiliated. Your death will be a lonely one. <laughs> Kill the rest of his crew! Make them suffer! Ava Wolfkist is no more! That name is dead to this world! You will be worth your weight in silver. <laughs> To the ship. Uh. You move, and I take your eyes. You hear me? Winds blowing from the south. We can tack north, then cut west. Now, what did I just tell you? God, I will skin you alive! Never leave this! No feast for you, Sunan. My crew is in danger. You must be my eyes. My crew is in danger. I need to reach them.
Guards here are vigilant. Stretch your wings, Sunan. not to draw attention here.
Clash of iron. There's fighting nearby. Thank you, old hound. You live. I do. Slipped away in the sword clash. And what of you? Kyotwe tried to sell me off. A mistake he will regret. Not today, he won't. I saw him board a ship at Davald's Nest not long ago. Sailed east, leaving our crew behind. There must still be time to save our men. I will find them. You ready the longship? You, Kalori Hound? You would take the rescue for yourself, so the victory song is written about you. I could storm the beach then. Slay two dozen men, seize our dragon boat, and hoist the sail in triumph. Up to you. No, no, I will take the beach. A far more dangerous path. You search the longhouse for our crew. Oh, and here. This corpse will not have need of it. Go. I will meet you by the ship. Show me what lies ahead. Shitless warriors crawl through Arvald's nest like lice. If I use the main gate, I may attract attention. I must be careful now. The 
longhouse. My crew should be inside. opening in the roof. like that, and my axe will miss your neck. Unpleasant for both of us. If I'm to die, I want to make a mess of it, Bakraut. and stick an axe in my hand. I owe you nothing, raven shit. Yours is a clan of thralls and peasants. You, lay that axe aside or die by mine. You should be on a slave ship to Ireland, Wolfkist. But if you wish to be my first sacrifice, Odin will be more than happy to receive you. You just killed yourself, Erki. Go to split you. I will sell you to hell herself. <laughs> Kneel, Wolf Kist, and I will spare your life. Shut your hole and fight. Die, you suck of shit. held on to this until the bitter end. If I give my life, will you spare my clan? Let it no! Pick up your axe! Kill them all! No!
Eivor, are you bewitched? Unbind us! What? Oh, yes, of course. Even if your wits were somewhat rattled. Listen here. If you can breathe, you can fight. Now come. We take back our ship. You do not need to tell us twice.
Raggy, grab your oars. The whale road leads us home. Oars, it's about time. Stop yapping and start rowing. Sail out. Rather silent, Eivor. Anything to say for the mess you led us to? We suffered no losses in this fight, and the men who humiliated us are dead. What is there to say? Oh, something like, I was stupid, selfish, reckless, blind, bone-headed, and I smell like blood and shit? I like my version better.
yourself some luck. Do you want the favor of the gods? Or protection from them? Welcome, warrior. Silke Silvertongue offers wonders from across the Nine Worlds. Rare objects. Priceless artifacts. And yet you have put a price on them. Everything has value, wise one. And I ask only a fraction of its worth. What would you say to a piece of Christ's cross? Snakeskin from Ragnar Lothbrok's death pit? These items do not look very impressive. Like this old shoe. That belonged to the first Christian Pope. Or maybe it was a saint. It brings the blessing of their god. They would need it with that shoe. And there's an old leather strap. A shield strap belonging to the hero Sigurther when he fought the great beast. Yeah, my mother had one embroidered like that. And what about that helmet? That was the helmet Hafton the Black War when he died in battle. It will protect you and bring good crops. That is a lie. It was the helmet my father Varen wore the night he was killed. Eh? Eivor? I know you now, Silke the Snake. And these are things from my old home. How much silver did Kjotve pay you to betray us? No silver. It was not like that. I was there that night, but I did not fight for Kjotve. I ran! Coward. I should cut you down. No! Leave me alone! You will answer for your actions. Uh, you try the other way! Your treachery ends here. Please, I never betrayed Farron. On my life! I was frightened and I fled, and when I returned, everyone was gone or dead! And yet you looted our dead. Bartered the ashes of their lives. It was all I could find. I sold nothing for a long time. But the weight grew too heavy, and I needed to eat! To survive! This is not living. Without honor, we are worse than beasts, and have no hope of a better life beyond this realm. This world is all I know, and this life all I have left. Would you take that from me? Take anything you want from my shop. Take everything. Just let me live. May the gods grant you better luck than I have seen.
This area is off limits.
This area is off limits. Someone is setting up an outpost on that island. Cured his men. Gnawing at any piece of open land like dogs worrying a bone. <laughs> Even with you half in the grave, we could easily take them. Can't raise the sail yet.
Feldman will come for us now, harder and stronger than before. No surprise there. This war has spun on for three generations. I hardly expect him to relent. Your hatred for that man burns bright, Wolf Kissed. I could warm my balls on it. Would you not prefer a pair of sealskin breeches? Just take care, Eivor. Such hatred can make you careless. What he did to your father, he did to all of us. You are not in this fight alone. King Sterbjorn will scold you for setting out against his wishes. Of course he will. Is that not something you worry over? I worry only that our king will not see that I'm right. Until it's too late. What about Sigurd? What would he say? If Sigurd were here, he would be sitting beside you, wiping the blood from his axe and smiling into the breeze. Gods, I love being out on the open water. The chill. The mist, the rolling waves, it gives a feeling of freedom. And then, to look around and see the rising fjords and glinting snow, I think, by the gods, the world is a place of wonder. See there, the vaulted shoulder bones of sad Emir. The bubbing seas, his blood, his brains, the soaring... for stout warrior folk by the old father and his kin. For all this, we must give thanks. There you go again, putting feeling into words that none here can match. Why averse yourself, Dad? Poems are not difficult if you give vent to your feelings. Ah, uh, I will feel my feelings as I always have, without words between them and me. And what will you tell our king about this misadventure? Only the truth. That we attacked Jotvis fortress, killed his men, and weakened his control of this land. Will you mention the part where you lost your crew and were nearly sold as a thrall? Will that be part of your saga? If there is a skull to dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. ship here. Well, well. The Feeder of Ravens returns. And not half dead. We thought we had lost you, Eivor. For good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like reddened shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A 
cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my... feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. Eivor! Looking rough you are. Welcome home. I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't... Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. That doesn't count. You need silver. And jewels. <laughs> Hello, Eivor. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Kissing a flagstone soon. Crowds would have pissed themselves all past by now. Hey, Tekla. What is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can have... Mead 
is my lifeblood. That was well drunk. Well done. Well drunk done. Toby, trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out. Then release. Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. You know a thing or two about dice. Hey, Orlok, I'm interested. Orlok, a game of skill. Orlok, <laughs> how about a game? Let's do this then. I am pretty good. Do not say I did not warn you.
Like this. Hmm. Sweet victory. Ah, you just got lucky. Another round. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> well, look who it is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery! You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? Let's try flighting. I always put a few coins down as a wager. Most of those who enjoy flighting have an equal fondness for betting. But today, we'll abstain. Let me begin. I'm ready. In flighting, it's key to match cadence and rhyme. It's as much about sound as it is about time. So be careful in choosing the words that you say. You're a very fine teacher, I'm sure I'll excel. Interesting. You have the cadence correct, but you failed the rhyme. Now, let us examine meaning. <clears throat> In flighting, you'll need to be cutting and keen. It's about wielding wit more than venting your spleen. If I tell you you're foolish and stupid and dull... Then I'll tell you you've nothing inside of your skull. Ah, a good response. I called you stupid and you turned it around. Flighting about wit, you matched my meaning. When you think of too many perfect retorts, Use the one that best matches the meaning. Last one. So go, then, and conquer the world with your wit. Go be clever, be quick, show your spirit and grit. I look eagerly forward to seeing how you fare. I will flight you with flourish and best you with flair. Perfect, yes! <laughs> you could destroy me with such a line. Your flighting's astounding, you're worthy of praise. You swing a fine axe and you turn a good phrase. Thank you, Aldous. I'll take the lesson to heart. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at? 
Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Is there something else? Let me have a look. Go ahead. Good. I need... See you later, Sven. Sure. <laughs> Hi. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could. But I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have will it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? <sighs> Five weeks, it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. That's all for now. Return any time.
It must be finished now. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volker first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Please, I'll give my